Guys, you welcome to Real Talk with Tony Cloud Ghana TV. Yeah, you know, Real Talk, it's um, just a segment or a separate part of my podcast where I, um, you know, take you out to real life, allow you to see me just do something outside instead of the normal studios that, you know, I'm, I'm normally in, uh, kicking it with the crew on the cast of. Uh, Tony Cloud Gunner TV. See here, I told uh, myself and some of my other friends <laughs> that if Arsenal tops the league uh, by week three, that I was going to cut my hair. Well, <laughs> I made good on that promise. I cut my hair today. So, you know, your boy looking fresh, looking clean, looking okay. So, um, yeah. You know what? Straight back to football. Today, Manchester United <laughs> are going to be slugging it out with Liverpool today. Um, let's don't laugh this out. Uh, this is the biggest rivalry in, in English football as we know it. Uh, I still think that Manchester United will come out uh, swinging at first. But I still see a Liverpool overpowering them. Uh, Liverpool are like angry lions. They've uh, they've basically lost. To them, they they would look at the draws that they've gotten as um, as losses for them. Uh, and knowing Klopp, he is a very competitive uh, competitive coach. Uh, you know, he will urge the boys to 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 turn the. Uh, the ant up a bit and um, attack, attack, attack Manchester United. So, well, in a few minutes, we'll be seeing what that would uh, bring for Manchester United. But I just want to talk about Arsenal. You know, this is an Arsenal fan channel too. Arsenal, over the weekend, oh my God, can you believe it? Arsenal is top of the league. You know, before, three, like, let's say, um, uh, eight years ago, nine years ago, there were times when Arsenal used to uh, be table toppers at December or January, and then they flop it uh, around towards the end of January or sometimes December. Can you believe it? That at August, Arsenal Football Club is top of the league. Three games played, three wins, nine points in the bag, 100% record, considered just two goals, unlike last season, where we've already shifted the same amount of goals we have <laughs> right now <laughs> already. Oh, my God. Uh, it's just spectacular. That game, that game against Bournemouth, uh, it... It, it, it was just how I want my Arsenal team to always come out, to always play. They just made a clear example of how I want them to to always play. The mentality that they came out with, the poise, uh, the attacking mentality while keeping uh, their defensive structure intact. Oh, my God, Gabriel Jesus. I, I, I've talked about Gabriel Jesus and his impact, you know, at Arsenal many times. I've talked about him with the crew. I've talked to him, uh, you know, with uh, also other guests uh, on the show, uh, on Minority Report and the Ryan and Claude show. He's just simply amazing. Did you see the way he just, he just shrugged? <sighs> the oncoming midfielder uh, and from the midfield just started dribbling, got into the 18 year box, had a keen eye for that pass to Gabriel Martinelli. Like, it's just so amazing. Like, I just keep wondering, like, <laughs> Manchester City, why in God's name didn't you, didn't you always use this guy? Like, like, why wasn't he like a starter in your team? Because his impact when he's not scoring is something that's just so 
magnificent because one thing that Gabriel Jesus gives Arsenal right now is that he gives us this base through which many players, of course he could dribble, he has an eye for uh, for that pass uh, and also a very, very uh, uh, keen eye uh, to score goals too. But there was just something about what I, there's something that I like about strikers, you know, strikers that can be able to just move lots of players of the opposing uh, uh, team out while creating open spaces for other strikers, other midfielders, oncoming midfielders to score. And that was just hap- that was just what, you know, uh, happened with Odegaard. Odegaard was just in the right place at the right time to just, you know, to just slot in that ball. It's just very easy. It's Arsenal is playing champagne football. The kind of football we're playing now, it's, it's just champagne football. And that's why it reflects in, you know, on the table. This is the Premier League. You can only um, you can only bit or confront what is uh, put in front of you, and and that's what Arsenal have done. Great, great, great chemistry with that team and Saliba. Oh my God, Saliba! I I, I I've talked about this guy lots of times, and um, he's just so amazing. Yeah. Uh, you know, look at that goal, calm goal collected uh, in front of that, uh, uh, just at the outer part of the 18-yard box uh, and just just calmly just slots it in. Like, ah, that's the kind of goal that strikers should be taking. And that's why Zichenko was, you know, quite quite amazed with what he did. This is champagne football Arsenal is playing. I... I, I never saw this coming, you know, at the at the start of the of the Premier League campaign. This is just what dreams are made of. And um I just want the boys to just, you know, keep this keep this chemistry going, keep this fight going. Uh and it's very, very important that we keep Thomas Party. <sighs> Thomas Party was just a beast in that midfield. Just look at how he was bullying players. Uh, along that midfield, he, he is key to us. We need him, and as you could see, he. Um, it's just so very easy for him to maintain that that discipline, that defensive discipline as a cover for our back four, and uh, by Partey doing that, he just allows Zaka to be very very free. And and Zaka can now you know roam uh, 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 more more forward, uh, you know, or more as an advanced midfielder. And as you can see, he's productive. Zaka have given at least two assists this season. It's tremendous. Last season he was raking up red cards. This season is assisting in goals. There's a change. There's a change in mentality. Uh, even if Zaka is not, mm, it's not my. He's not my ideal kind of midfielder, but you just have to admit that he's he's just amazing. This season, he, you know, he's he's cleaned up his act. Uh, it's just positive. It's positive. It's positive. Uh, last season, uh, Zaka would always look for how to um, pass the ball backwards, sideways, but at this time. He's, he's just, he just has that keen eye to move forward. He wants to go forward. He wants to contribute to that offensive play while maintaining uh, 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 the discipline around the, uh, the midfield area. He's tackling. Uh, Thomas Partey is there to shut people down uh, just before you even come around to face our back four. Uh, it's just champagne football all round. Our strikers, Martinelli, everyone is enjoying football. And now you could see that Saka... Is relieved now. He's relieved because the goal scoring uh, 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 duties last season was just left, you know, for him to cut out, just for him. But at this time now, Saka has, okay, he hasn't really turned up, you know, in, in most of the games we've played this season. But that just shows you how good our offensive 
uh, players are. Gabriel Martinelli is causing damage from that uh, from that flank, and and Gabriel Jesus is just causing confusion to the opposing uh, defenders. Uh, this is champagne football. These are what dreams are made of, and Arsenal is hundred percent just around that end corner of August like I I, I can't believe this uh, Manchester City the team that the big media tells you to be afraid of the team that all these podcasters uh, uh, suck up to and um uh, try to uh, let you Ghana fans feel and uh, think fear. Uh, well, it was all opened at Newcastle in St. James Park. 3-3. I don't see Manchester City as a threat. You know, uh, there's no Aguero there. Haaland is no Aguero. He's a good striker, don't get me wrong. But he's no Aguero. Uh yeah, Kevin De Bruyne can cause damages. Uh, uh, Bernardo Silva, yeah. But again, their defensive structure shows some gaps out there. Can you imagine Newcastle putting three goals at the back of the net in St. James Park against Manchester City? That's something big. It's something huge. Uh, you can't ignore this. It's something big. And um, Manchester City having a 3-3 draw with Newcastle. It, it's easy if you just say, okay, maybe Newcastle, you know, they're good fighters. Uh, they could have come up, you know, before the game, you would have thought like, okay, maybe Man City would go there and win like 3-0. Or even if it turns into a, into a you know, into a, serious uh, battle down there in St. James Park. At worst, probably 1-1, 2-1. But to sh- for Manchester City to ship three goals in St. James Park, I'm literally not afraid of that team. I-, I think Arsenal will face them squarely this season. And even Liverpool. Liverpool, you know, they're not... They're not right. They're not right. You know, something is wrong, and they have injuries uh, right now to 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 take care of. So I, I think Arsenal should just go for it. Next week we face Fulham, and uh, I think we should be able to destroy Fulham. You know, at our home. Of course, they have great players in Paulinho. Uh, they have Mitrovic. Uh, you know, out there too. But. I think Arsenal would uh, handle business. Uh, but this is what I'll be talking about with Ryan Maguire uh, on the Ryan and Cloud show tomorrow at 8 p.m. UK time. And you can definitely join us uh, as we discuss uh, Arsenal and Fulham. And, uh, you know, uh, the banter of the week also <laughs> will be discussed. Uh, let's see. And Chelsea. We'll have to discuss about that match with uh uh, Chelsea versus Leeds. Uh, Chelsea lost 3-0 uh, at Leeds. What a game. What a game. And it's not like Chelsea really, really like had such a bad game. They were attacking. They were coming out. But, uh, you know, on the day, um, Leeds were just clinical with their finishes. And uh, that cost Chelsea a lot. So uh, let's see what's going to happen. Uh, this coming week. Uh, but um, I'll be having uh, that show uh, tomorrow, the Ryan and Cloud show uh, tomorrow with Ryan Maguire, 8 p.m. Uh, UK time uh, tomorrow. And we'll be discussing Arsenal, uh, the league, the banter uh, awards, uh, who it's going to go to. Uh, we'll be dissecting all these games uh, that have taken place uh, last weekend and especially the match against uh, uh, the match uh, Man United and Liverpool will be playing in so many time now. Uh, we'll be dissecting these games uh, tomorrow on the Ryan and Cloud show. So it will be good for you guys to join us, you know, just 
uh, sit back, relax, enjoy the show, uh, subscribe, uh, you know, share it to other people, uh, the channel, I mean, uh, Tony Claude Gunner TV uh, on YouTube. We're also on Twitter. Uh, our pages on Instagram is uh, also coming up uh, very soon. Uh, I would let you guys uh, know about this. Uh, on Wednesday, we should be having Deji Spores, uh, 8 p.m. Uh, UK time. So you guys should, uh, you know, keep your time uh, and watch out for that one because Tottenham didn't really have a very, very good game uh, last weekend. Uh, they escaped uh, with just 1-0 with Ari Kane uh, scoring uh, in the second half. Uh, uh, I, I will be, uh, you know, I will be talking uh, about Tottenham uh, with Deji Spores on Wednesday. Uh, and on Thursday, I'll be facing um, Ola of the United Family. Ola is also a podcaster uh, uh, with... Uh, Tony Claude Ghana TV. So he'll be with us on Thursday for the rival show, uh, which is also part of the flagship show here uh, on Tony Claude Ghana TV. So join us, you know, uh, this is a good atmosphere. Uh, kids can join us. Young people who love football can join us. Click share, like, subscribe, you know, send to friends, send to family, send to relatives, you know, and, and, and just, uh, you know, come and have a nice time with, you know, uh, on the Tony Claude Ghana TV uh, on YouTube. And I'll see you guys tomorrow uh, where me and Ryan Maguire will be discussing uh, about what is going on all over the Premier League. And also, just uh, just to give you a little bit of uh, uh, of what is going on around the Emirates, see, it's not just a rumour, it's, it's something concrete. Arsenal are said to be in talk like I mean in serious talks with Pedro Neto of Wolves ah, is he what we need I would have loved it if we could you know just go ahead and get Paqueta but Pedro Neto is not bad I, I like him on you know in that Arsenal team uh, but the transfer news I'm getting from my contacts down there in London uh, are saying that Arsenal are seriously in talks uh, with uh, with Wolves uh, and that deal could cost a whooping fifty million pounds. But um, let's see. I think it's just too early because this news just came up like yesterday uh, in the news. But my internal contacts are telling me that you know that this might go through. So let's see what's going to happen. So Arsenal uh, is going for Pedro Neto, and talks have already started. So let's see what's going to happen. Arsenal are still keeping an eye uh, on Yuri. Tillemans, uh, you know, the club I've always uh, loved, uh, Yuri Tillemans. Uh, his head is turned on and off uh, on that Leicester shirt. So let's see what's going to happen before the end of the transfer window. Uh, I would also be talking about transfer news uh, with Ryan tomorrow. So you just have to watch this uh, action parked uh, uh, show tomorrow that I have with Ryan. Uh, tomorrow it, it's going to be explosive um, and uh, for the show I would likely bring in some guests some very very um, good guests uh, that will grace the show uh, very very soon so you know you just have to uh, keep joining us you know keep liking keep subscribing keep watching uh, the Tony Cloud Gunner uh, TV on YouTube and then I'll see you guys let's just go and watch Manchester United and Liverpool and see what, what's going to happen. But I predict that Liverpool is going to win that game by five goals to one. <laughs> Either way, my rivals are losing points. So come on, you Gunners. Come on. Come on, let's go. And join us on the show tomorrow. Bye.